Hi, this is Aya Sturdivan, aka The Metaphysician, here with A Perfect Dream for Titillating Tuesday. And this Tuesday, I have something very special for my viewers. Um, someone sent me this link on my Facebook page that I thought I'd mention, although uh, this story may be old news to some. Uh, but um, I did uh, think that this was important to mention. Uh, this week's theme of consciousness is, who are you? And uh, Titling Tuesdays, I always do a uh, current news event uh, based on that theme. And then I give my perspective from pure consciousness. So, this week, uh, I'm doing the story of Dr. Sebi. Um, and Dr. Sebi uh, is well known for his uh, claims to um, cure any disease by um, lessening the mucus count in the body, or the, the mucus um, amount in the body. Okay, in case I said it wrong. So, anyhow... Um, who are you? Uh, Dr. Sebi, uh, from what I remember watching of his um, first lecture uh, that I've ever watched uh, of him, um, from what I understand, he was an engineer with no formal training. And he uh, said that he had made a decision um, that he was going to try to uh, help black people. And that um, he wanted to uh, be of service uh, to the African American uh, all over, or for you know uh, people of color all over. And the story that I'm uh, going to reveal is about the fact that Dr. Sebi uh, was, uh, I guess, arrested and imprisoned, and the Supreme Court, the New York City Supreme Court, was. Uh, taking Dr. Sebi to trial because of his um, advertisements in the newspaper of, you know, coming to his, his clinic and being treated for any disease, his claims of being able to cure any disease, and also um, practicing medicine without a license. And so uh, he was being sued by that. Um, he was being sued by the Supreme Court of, of New York. And... Um, from what I read, um, he had a trial and he beat his case based on uh, the testimony of 77 witnesses who had uh, provided proof that they had these diseases and that um, Dr. Sebi, uh help, his help, uh, ended up being beneficial to them to where they were cured of um, their illnesses and uh, the Supreme Court granted him um, his right to say that his right to say that he could cure any disease based on his testimony based on the uh, witness testimony that he had and it inspired me to inspire you and say who are you now this gentleman decided a long time ago who he was going to be and who he was going to help. And by golly, he had one of the biggest opportunities to prove that and show that to the world by facing, uh, ultimately, probably going to jail for a very long time. Um, and it, it began to be so that that didn't happen to him, not because a stroke of luck, but because he had already decided who he was going to be and that if that was what he was going to be, he was going to have a definite way of helping those of color, uh, of helping people, you know, cure themselves of diseases uh, by monitoring uh, their diet and healthy lifestyle and healthy eating uh, and by the alkaline diet of, uh, you know, lessening the acidity in the body. And he had a definite result for that. Um, he definitely had um, a way of doing that. This is a proven method that he had used time and time and time and time again until it was just, you know, uh, something he enjoyed doing. And I'm sure it was something he enjoyed doing in the beginning. But what I'm saying about that is, again, who are you? 
You know, are you going to be the individual that decides what you want to do, decides who you are? Or are you going to let it be the dictates of TV, reality shows, and everything else uh, in between that tells you how you should be and who you should be? Now, I'm certain that when Dr. Sabi started this, that this was probably not um, as, as popular uh, at that point in time. And I'm certain that, you know, he might have felt, you know, uh, at times wanting to give up and laughed at and, you know, uh, that sort of thing. Uh, but to persevere in the face of that and to decide that that's still who you're going to be irregardless of what others may think or feel or say to you in regards to who you decided to become and who you decided to be. That says a lot. And so I wanted to dedicate this particular video to Dr. Savi. Uh, thank you for showing me, myself, personally, and my family, uh, healthy eating and the alkaline diet. It has definitely improved my health and encouraged me uh, as an African-American woman to uh, regard my health and my body very highly. And at one point in time, I was not doing that. So thank you very much that your decision to become all that you could and to assist humanity was one that really uh, assisted me. Thank you very much. Now, to all my other viewers, thank you for tuning in to uh, Titillate Tuesdays from the perspective of higher consciousness, of pure consciousness. Again, please make sure that you decide who you are. Take the necessary precaution steps and make sure that your desire is to be of service to humanity. It is always a win-win situation. And on top of that, the very nature of you being authentic to your call and you being ready to accept your call can mean saving hundreds of thousands of lives and also can mean saving your own. So... Please join me if you have any questions, uh, you'd like to email me, uh, please join me at www.aperfectdream.org or aperfectdream37 at yahoo.com, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, YouTube. Until next time, you are the change that you seek. Namaste.